On May 5th, 1999, the expert rules were introduced in the OCG. These rules denoted two main differences between the original set of rules. First, monsters with higher levels require tributes in order to summon to the field. Level 5 and 6 monsters would require one tribute, and level 7 and above would require two. Second, the limit on the number of spell and trap cards that could be activated or set in a given turn was now removed. Interestingly enough, the original rules weren't made obsolete, but rather the new expert rules were what was adopted for organized play, so if you still wanted to play Blue Eyes Beatdown format, you could, but not in any official capacity. Additionally, the first limited list was released around this time, limiting three powerful cards, Raigeki, Dark Hole, and Trap Hole. These new changes would really allow Yu-Gi-Oh! to open up as a card game, as we'll see today in the history of the OCG. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We finally fixed Yu-Gi-Oh! With the expert rules in place, it can only go up from here. It is going to be the best card game ever that we know and love. Surely nothing will go wrong moving forward, right? In any case, we wanted to take the exact same card pool that we were playing last episode and show just what the differences were between the old rules versus the expert rules. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar, but there are some key differences, right? Obviously, Raigeki, Dark Hole, and Trap Hole are all now limited. Now there's a higher emphasis on playing your level four or lower monsters because that's what you're actually allowed to summon in the first turns of the game, right? You can't just drop Blue Eyes White Dragon like you were able to before. So as you can see, there's a high emphasis still on the wall monsters such as Triple Aquamador, Triple Mystical Elf, Triple Spirit of the Heart because they can wall off pretty much everything that is a four star or lower. They can even wall off Curse of Dragon, so why not play? as many as you can because I think still trying to stick a Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes White Dragon, there's still a lot of game here. Obviously, we haven't gotten to the point where effect monsters are legal, and so this is sort of what you're going to see. A card like Taihone also makes its way into the main deck because not only does it have 1,200 attack, which is still relevant for some reason, but it also has 1,400 defense, which means it's basically a wall monster because the only monster it doesn't wall off is Urebi, and Urebi's the strongest level 4 or lower being at 1,500. But that is going to matter if you're actually able to get in these little chip damage hits because over time, these little guys are actually going to close out the game. It's so weird, right? Like, intuitively, I feel like you should just drop all the tributes altogether and just play as many of the smaller guys as possible. But then you have no way to clear the walls aside from your fissures and then your one dark hole and one Raigeki. And what are you going to reborn for? Something that still can't get over a wall? Yu-Gi-Oh! was so weird back then. But in any case, let's see how the expert rules shape up. Let's not make you guys wait any longer. Longer, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do it. Joseph, we finally made it. We are now officially playing Expert Yu-Gi-Oh! Tribute Summons, no limitations on spell and traps. Not that we listened to that rule in the last three episodes anyway, but nonetheless, are you excited that we actually get to play real Yu-Gi-Oh? Is this finally going to be the transformative shift into the card game that we know and love? I guess 2121 really wasn't worth living in. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to resolve every outstanding problem in the game. To that end, we're not playing three Raigeki, three Dark Hole, all that stuff anymore either, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, those cards are all now limited, and surely we're not going to run into any issues with this game whatsoever, and it's going to be a fun, approachable card game that everyone can play with their friends. So with oh, that yeah. said, let's go ahead, roll the die. I rolled a six before everyone thinks that I'm cheating in rock, paper, scissors like I always do. Uh, strangely enough, we actually had to look this up before we started recording. I guess you still don't draw for turn. I couldn't find this any where noted in any sort of like rule set from when they changed to the like expert rules so I i'm gonna stick with it i think they revised the rules a little bit later and that might be the point where you draw the sixth card so uh actually now that i think about it you go first i don't know what i'm doing that means i still want to go second <laughs> Well, unfortunately, I think without the looming threat of Dark Magician or Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, this is going to be a really boring game. I was about to say, we can't just dunk Blue Eyes White Dragon to topple over all of these 2k defenders you and I are going to be sitting on. That's so boring. I'm going to set two and pass. Hmm... Hmm. Look at look at this thrilling gameplay we have going on here. We'll go main one. And do I want to do something? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to set and pass again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is maybe even a little too fun. Uh, I will normal the Celtic Guardian. I am willing to take six for the purposes of information. You have felled my Celtic oh, Guardian, get unfortunately. Owned. Get absolutely dunked on. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, we'll see if it happens again. I'll set another one. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, let's end this facade. I'll tribute summon the blue eyes white dragon. There it is. Uh, it's it, you know we didn't we don't get get, get to dunk it like we could before, but it's still just as menacing because now with so little removal cards, uh, it almost makes this card scarier in a way. <laughs> uh, well, let's see how scared you get when I walk over your terrible spirit of the heart. Uh, I may not get another chance to do this, so I think I'm gonna oh, do this now. No. <laughs> oh, Alex! Wow, that is really rough. Um. Huh. Well, I'll get in for 14, for sure. I'll take the 14, yeah. Oh, this God. at least feels more like a game, right? I don't feel like I'm going to die immediately at any moment. Well, now we have a problem. What is that problem? Uh, well, Alex, um, <laughs> I have successfully <laughs> summoned the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And while uh -huh. Dark Hole, Raigeki, and Trap Hole are all limited, Monster uh -huh. Reborn is not... Interesting uh, that they kept that card at three. I guess they had to sell whatever booster set we're currently on. So if I pass back to you and you have Monster Reborn, I get cooked. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, walk me through it. There are fewer mass removal spells, Regeki and Darkhold, than there are copies of Monster Reborn in your deck. So I'm going to Monster okay. Reborn targeting my blue eyes to deny you the reborn of my blue eyes. I see. All right, I will draw for turn. Uh -huh. I am just going to set a card and pass. I bet. Stand by main. Uh, let's put the screws on you, dog. Swords of Revealing Light. Shit. It is my trial of hell. Oh, then you will be <laughs> going to hell. Uh, I summon... Probably. A Spirit of the Harp in attack position. No, I'm not doing that. I summon the Celtic <laughs> Guardian again. <laughs> Get in there. That's fine. All right. We're going to take 44 Bam. here. Yeah, go ahead. I was getting way too patient, and uh, I was punished for my patience now that you activated the swords. Uh, I think I'm just dead here, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, that was that was well played. I was The way I could have dealt with this was I was going to... You did play around yeah. the Monster Reborn, which was correct. I was going to revive my own Celtic Guardian, crash with your Celtic Guardian, and then fissure your blue eyes. Mm. But with swords up and a second Celtic Guardian, I can't do that. So I'm getting cooked in this series, man. Oh, man. Joseph, like, do we go first now? Because we actually need to have guys on the field to tribute summon that like gives you first initiative. It's interesting. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going second because I still think it's better for the card. But sure, I don't know. Yeah. I got cooked that game. <laughs> this game you might be all right. Bada uh, bing. There you go. I don't I don't I don't know about that. Judging by the way my hand looks, I'm not feeling super confident here. Uh, I will reciprocate with the same. Go ahead. Well, it worked last time. Uh, get in there, my Celtic Guardian. It is my spirit of the harp. This yeah. time I'll wall you off. All right. Well, go ahead. Okay. Um, you know, this might be the only time I actually get to do this. So I'm going to tribute spirit of the harp for curse of dragon. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Yeah. It, it's not bad, except for the fact it can't get over this set monster. So you'll take six and I'll pass. You don't know that. It could be anything set. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess. I can't get over that one either. You you don't know Just that. It could, it could be anything, Seth. You said a back row. So the back rows are what? Trap hole, fucking two-pronged attack, I think. That's it, yeah. That's that's like, lit I guess, dragon capture jar, which actually proved to be very annoying. I'll, I'll try it. It's probably not working, but... Right, it's, it's just Mystical Elf. Precisely. All right. Uh, we'll go second main. I will set one, and I'll pass. Well... <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. Main one. I guess we will normal some. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's go for... Let, let's just attack. This is probably another 2K wall. It is. Yeah. We're, we're just setting. Go ahead. Someday I will. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's let's stop dilly dally. Oh, let's go for our boo. blue eyes. Yeah, there he is. No trap hole. No. Okay. Uh, that means we're gonna get board wiped then. Uh, we will eradicate your. I like mystical elf better, so we'll eradicate spirit of the harp. And I guess we are passing. Wow. Um. Hmm. All right, you called it. It's regeki time. And then monster reborn. And I will reborn the monster. You can just hand it over yeah. to me. Uh, okay, did. this one is kind of weird. So I think what I'm going to do 
is switch the elf to attack. We're going to swords, okay. and then we will get in for 38. Sure. All right, go ahead. I'm glad you're drawing all these spell cards. Yeah. Uh, okay, can't really do a whole lot, can we? Uh, that is frustrating. I think I sadly have to double fissure this board. Oh, God. Okay. I was like, I'll play around the single fissure. Uh, which I did have until I drew the second one. Uh, we will just set and pass. Go ahead. I'm in no rush. And neither am I. Turn two. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh... You know what? Forget it. That's normal summon spear to the harp. What is that set card? I, I cannot believe Celtic Guardian has withstood <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Take four. Yeah, I'll take four. Uh, main one. Swords is going to expire this turn. I will sack. Eh, do I even sack it off? Yeah, you know what? Let's just bring out Curse of Dragon and pass. Absolutely. Stand by main. Swords is expired. Uh, Fissure. Sure. You're a bee. Yeah. You're a bee upset when you see what I'm about to do. Get in for Oh, my God. That was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. You're about to be upset when I reborn the blue eyes. Oh, that is upsetting. Yeah. All right. We'll bring him on out. And you know what? What's one you're a bee without a number? His fast feet. <laughs> oh, he really the fast does feet fast is here. Feet, yeah. Let's go uh, into the harp. seven. And then this is 15. And 15. Uh oh. And over to you. And Dark Hole. Fuck. Okay. Really? <laughs> Has two of his board wiped? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Aquamador, get in there. Okay, I'm not dead. No, I'm not, not dead. That's I mean, good. there's nothing I could have done to kill you. Yeah. Thank God I have another reborn. Oh, no. Yep. All right. I'm on seven. I have to be like somewhat cautious about this. So what can happen? You don't have Reborn. Otherwise, you would have Reborn and killed me last turn. So you don't have that. Uh, you could have another Fisher. You could have a myriad of things. You know what? Let's just go for another Urabi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is 18, 18 and 15. And 15. Things are getting very serious. And I'll set one. Go ahead. I can set one, too. Oh, that's really interesting. I will Reborn the monster. What are you going to bring back? This guy. Oh, I wish we had another Blue Eyes in rotation or a Dark Magician. That would just be it. I'm going to take five here. Go down <laughs> yeah. to two. Uh, Fissure. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Go ahead. Celtic Guardian. Yeah. Right, Geki. No! I should have despelled the set card. <laughs> Despell! Oh, <laughs> Shit, I almost lost because I said it. I'm like, he's not going to play Despell. <laughs> <laughs> Man, who would have thought we would have wrung a good game out of that one? Not me. I was about to say, Joseph, dare I say it? Are we having fun yeah. playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, boy. No way. Maybe not with this All right. opener. I was about to say, I think the fun might be over here. Uh, good luck, sir. Uh, we're just going to T-set and pass. Go ahead. Whoa, crazy turn. Uh, I don't know. Um, Celtic Guardian. Sure. Get in there. It's my Mador. Take oh, your six. Expected. Uh, go ahead. Uh, what do we do now? You know what? I, I'll I'll run out Curse of Dragon. I'm okay with that. Sure. Pick six Get him here. For six. Ow. Uh, I will just pass. Stand by me. Fissure. Yep. Celtic Guardian again. Man, Danny's gonna love this episode. <laughs> this is no Feralin. <laughs> Main one. We're going to set a monster and fire swords and pass. Okay, we are going to dispel your swords. Sure. And normal summon Trial of Nightmare. Please do not be it's a fine. 2,000 defender. I wish it wasn't. It's my own Celtic Guardian. This and is now, not good. I will activate swords. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stand by me and I'll try to hold off on the swords. Go ahead. Yeah, I will summon... Turn one on swords. Tai Honey, the greatest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it has 1,400 defense and 1,200 attack, so it's technically better than Silver Fang and Hitatsumi Giant. This one is a 2k defender. Oh, I literally don't have an out for this card. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I will continue to hold off your swords. Turn two. Uh, stand by me. This, guy, this, this one legitimately can't be a 2k. Okay, well... Uh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Yep. Uh, and I will, 
You know what? I'm um terrified actually. What can happen? You could go Raigeki, Raigeki obliterate me for you. my life. <laughs> yeah, 27 39, you would need a 1400 point attacker. Hmm. And the fact that you've just been playing monsters it would suggest that that might be the case. So I would need you need 1400 attack point monster D spell uh Raigeki. If I activate this swords of revealing oh light, I'll God. take my chances. All right, there goes my swords. Um I'm just chilling. <laughs> Okay, let's turn one on my swords. Uh, stand by main. I'm just going to set one and pass. <sighs> turn two on swords. Okay. I am going to sacrifice Spirit of the Harp and Mystical Elf for the Dark Magician. Okay, we're chilling. We need to have more tributes than three blue eyes, I guess. Uh, we're going to flip this Celtic Guardian. Play around Fissure a little bit here. Uh, so we're going to go Celtic Guardian into Trial of Nightmare, and then Dark Magician into Celtic Guardian. Take nine here. Take yeah. nine. Oh, no, you take 11 from that, and you take one from the other one. And I will pass to you. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. Uh-oh, he says with Raigeki in hand. Whatever. Go ahead. Setting. All right, my swords are gone. Uh, standby main. Problem is, if that's a 2k defender, that could be very bad. But I think I just have to be aggressive here. Uh, so we'll go your AB. Uraby in here, Dark Magician in here, Celtic Guardian direct. Yeah. That would have walled off. All right, let's see the board wipe. Oh, uh, no, I don't have it. Mm. Ooh, okay. Uh, This is not game unless I summon a Trial of Nightmare. No, how could this happen? <laughs> yes, we finally won. Oh my God, it happened. What was the hand? Just all monsters? Yeah, it, there was a reborn in there. Um. The oh, concept okay. was okay. I was trying to tribute some in my own Dark Magician, but I just got mm. it. I was like, I needed okay. a board wipe or a tribute summonable monster and just couldn't find one. Uh, I guess that would be a justifiable reason to build your board up like that. I thought you were just trying wow. to kill me when the swords expired. That made there sense. Oh, there's Raigeki. Wasn't Man, far off. This, um, uh, th this has the potential to uh, to create yeah. interesting game states um, more than anything we've played yet. But, you know, it's still a little rough. It definitely... Uh, it resembles more of a game now, right? Yeah. Before, I mean, just jamming every giant guy we have, I feel like just made the game so one-sided a lot of the time because there wasn't really a ton of counterplay aside from like getting your own giant guy to fight back. Mm -hmm. uh, especially last episode when we had three Monster Reborn and three Swords and three Raigeki and three Darkhold. That was just miserable. I, I don't know how that resembled anything. But this, there was a lot of like interesting strategic decisions we had to make because obviously Fisher is the removal card that's still at three. And so a lot of the times you saw both of us trying to complement our big monster with a smaller monster to play around the one Fisher. Uh, in the case of multiples, not much you can do, but at the very least you got two cards out of their hand. Uh, and then Reborn, Reborn being at three is crazy, but like mm. it actually makes a special summon feel like a special summon because that's the only way to special summon in this whole format. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I also think Dragon Capture Jar, even though it wasn't like, I don't think it was it really played because obviously like blue eyes was still like you know somewhat of a hard card to acquire multiple copies of obviously it came in the starter box itself but i still think it's worth considering because especially curse of dragon being like the premier once uh tribute monster as well if you just shove all these guys sideways what kind you you can basically stall the game out like swords of revealing light a lot of the time if that's like the situation you're facing and the little guys aren't going to be able to clear a 2k wall it's it's interesting that like blue eyes wasn't in circulation to the degree that it would have been of like a modern card game when people can access everything on like the secondary market so easily uh that this card just wasn't played even though it is actually like quite a strong card all things considered i think we actually uh we actually have a game here i think we yeah. have a game a little rocky but finally we have discovered the magic the gathering killer so guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow 1317 Tim00X3, MBT Play Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfan Amethyst, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel by Community, Community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Enraged Peacock, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much again.